in the Jeep here, and um, I had to take this console off to get to the radio um, to order to put the touchscreen in. Um, so I'll go ahead and unplug that. Um, man, it should be pretty simple from what I see online. You just put your hand out here and pull until you hear some snapping. And there we go. I, it always scares me after I do that. Go ahead and sit down in the back seat. And there we are. There's the air vent. Get some crud out of there. And here's the um, radio head itself. This is a den and a half conversion kit right there. Um, so here's the different connectors we need to undo to order to get in the back part. Okay, I got the dash off. All you have to do is unplug these two wire connectors. The 96 Cherokee didn't have these, so it's really nice. Um, but then you have your ground wire right there, which is really cool. And then you got your antenna there. And it's really cool, guys. I like how this is all set up. Um, a lot of room back in there. Um, and I'll cut back um, once I get everything wired up. Um, I'm actually probably over, it's getting pretty dark outside right now. So overnight I'm going to solder the new ones together to make it really clean. And um, I'll come back, guys, uh, when it's all said and done. And I'll see you guys in the next. Sorry for the bad lighting. And um, I didn't get to record a video before I hooked everything up. But basically, um, I got my touchscreen radio here. I got it into and mounted into the bracket like it needs to be. At least I'm hoping everything fits perfectly. Um, this one does have the antenna connection there. And then it has its wires come up here and a connector there. And then it connects into these two wires, which I just mashed all the colors up to these two connectors that were in my Jeep already, in my Jeep Cherokee, my 88. Um, you, if this is a conversion kit, whatever you want to call it, that somebody else put on there, so it was pretty easy just wiring all up, getting all the connectors and getting all good. There's my ground and all that, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's really easy to hook all the wiring up, just make sure you know which wire is which. I know my unit, it gives me, uh, telling me which wire is what. And then on this, it was just kind of guessing, but um, pretty good guessing because all the wires match up. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, there's not really much else I can do um, to show you how to hook it up. I will probably do a clip um, showing um, how it all sets up inside and what it looks like. I'm in my car here and you see here this is the radio that I installed. I showed y'all how to take the panel off and thing. And this is a, a few days later after I did this. But here's the radio itself. Um, I go ahead to, it's simple to install. Just like I said, just screw things back in. I'm sorry I didn't do a video, but it was dark that night and you couldn't see a thing. But um, I do have the battery turned on, so just go ahead and push your power button right there. And you see right there, that does glow blue, which is really cool. And you see it pop up there. And you see that right there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down. And you see right, right now we're in the radio function on this certain particular thing. You can mute it right here like just by touching the, the, um, that part right there. And then you also have your volume controls right here. You get your different, uh, I already set my radio stations, but you can see right there I got, y'all you use touch this. It gets used to the touching. It's just kind of like using an iPhone. But it gets pretty simple how to use that. Um, to go back to your menu, you just want to press right there. And you're back to your main menu part. Uh, one of the cool things about this thing is, is that it does fold up. I'm going to go back to radio here. And I'll let you see this. I'm going to refocus the camera for us. And all you do is um, you can push this button right here. And it folds all the way up. And you stick your the disc goes in right here. As well, I can get to all my AC controls right there if I need to do that. And then to push it down, all you need to do is push the down button. Or you can push the other button if you like to do that. There we go. I was pushing the wrong one the whole time. But you can see, just fold right back down. You also can push um, right push down button and it's, and it's going to go into volts for you until you get to the spot you want. Let's go ahead and go back to menu, and you can see this one does have different function. You get your radio, GPS, which GPS does not work. You can play a DVD. I'll go back and get it. 
it does it. And you got your Bluetooth and you connect your um, mobile device. You also got um, aux so you can plug it in right here. You got USB and SD card, which I do have an SD card plugged in right here on the side. And it, what it's going to do is it's going to read that. And it's going to start playing songs that I have on here. And you can scroll through them and pick different ones you want. I got my cut list and all that. Really, really nice to have different features like that on here. It's a really, really nice radio. I really highly recommend it. Really good price to go ahead and check it on eBay to get a really good deal on it. But that's it, guys, for this um, install video of this new radio I got. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Always stay tuned for more. Go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. Leave a comment down below if you got any questions about this. Hopefully, I can answer them. As well, go ahead and subscribe for more Jeep videos and more car related videos coming soon. And more tech just like this. So stay tuned for more. See you on the next.